Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Capricorn, welcome to your dailies or welcome to your weekend reading. This will be for the 7th and for the 8th of March. Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus Signs for all of you. Also, I have a new deck, Oracle deck, for all of you. Beautiful messages from the Oracle. Yeah. And for those of you who are very much interested in what decks I'm using, this is Ellie Wee Oracle. Let's see here Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign, and Venus Science, general reading, general messages. What we got here for you, loves. We have Desiree, she who yearns, yearns, longing, pine for. Here you are, loves. Yeah, and underneath of the deck we have Eterna, she who becomes, metamorphosis, transcend and journey. For some of you Capricorns, you might be connected with the Virgo because I got, I believe, Eterna for the Virgo. Check it out, that message or that reading. But let's see here what this card is bringing to us. And how we're moving forward was the message from this card. The message of this card is to commit fully to your wants or admit you are simply stuck in the middle of pinning for what you cannot reach. Your energy is at stake here. Will you shed yourself of what you do not need in order to gain what is you really want? Are you unsure of your yearning? Wishful thinking has its place, but now is the moment to drive forward to your goal or set the goal aside. The moon is reachable if you dedicate the resources necessary. And yes, my loves, if you are want something, commit to it. If you want something desperately or you really want something to have in the future, commit. Don't be fearful. And as you always know, the people who are successful in this world, they are consistent. They are not way, way gifted. Of course, every person who has a gift and is cultivating it, it is successful. For some of you, you are passionate about something. Cultivate that passion for you to be successful. Whatever you want, you can achieve in this life. Okay, because that's how I used to be. I do want this. I am gifted at this. And do learn more. Practice more. Do it more. S is for a lover too. If you really have an eye on somebody and you truly want that person, dedicate time for that. Because many times you, you might feel like, why that person is not with me? Why that person is not good to me? Why that person doesn't make time? Because that person is not putting you number one. Many, many times that could be that case. Always, always it's about priorities. And if you prioritize yourself to do something, do it fully. No matter what. No matter what job you do. No matter what you are doing in life in general. Commit 100%. And do it more what you think is good. Let's see here, my loves, what we got for you and how the energy is around you. We have moon energy. Also, we have a full a full moon, I believe, on the 9th, going on the 10th of March. It is coming. For some of you Capricorns, you might deal with the Pisces here, but it's just like you're fearing. What should I do? How should I put everything together? It's like you are in a, in a labyrinth here. I don't know what to do, how to go. There's so much on my plate. There is too much. For some of you, you are very emotional over something this weekend. Don't be afraid to go forward, my loves. Okay, here you are. Six of Swords. There is a movement. Chariot. Fast, even fast movement. For some of you, you might talk with somebody here. Somebody from your past. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. We have also a water sign, Capricorn. We have 
Scorpio, we have Cancer, and we have a Pisces here. Yeah. I see here is a Scorp is a um, Scorpio around you. That person might be single, or you might be single right now. You try to move on on with the things, but what I do see here, even you want to move forward, you kind of waiting for somebody. Also, this person who you are connected, they might be at the distance. They might left you. Yes, they might come back. Also, I don't see you very much trusting that person or that person trusting you. Also, it's a very mature person, Capricorn. For some of you, you want to go and see this person or vice versa. Something ended and somebody here wants a new beginning but doesn't really trust this new beginning. Okay? Does the message very, very much in here in the past was a, a thing like you know what we are done and over this is done and one of you might move away here okay but I don't see a fully moved on here definitely fire sign water sign here but definitely it is for some of you a third party okay I've been a third party involved I don't see you with that third party or I do not see one of you with that third party okay was something hidden in here we have queen of wands king of wands which i do see a couple and i do see here a water sign definitely here and somebody walked away with this eight of cups from a water sign first thought will be awesome and amazing but later on i don't see it going because i do see here a comeback with Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Cups, I want my person back, kind of, the energy. And right now you don't really know, or the person who you separated from, or you left, or they left, they don't really know if it's worth it or not. Either way, you might have children with this person or not, but I do see here a Capricorn who is single, okay? But also they are trust things here trust issues or whatever that there is communication coming in here absolutely but there is a renewal of some kind let's see here why this death is here hierophant yes was a marriage or is a commitment ended because of somebody leaving or being sneaking here why the seven of swords somebody here standing their power Yes, somebody here still conflicted with seven of swords and five of wands here. Somebody here could listen to other people here. Seven of cups, being very confused. If somebody comes back to you, Capricorns, you'll be very confused. Also, this person want to fight for you. If it's not you, it's them. Somebody here really wanted to know the truth, speak the truth here with this king of swords. Some, some of you might want to clear the air with this person or it's just like I don't want to listen anymore for anybody. I just want to make what is right for me. Let's see here. Why the Six of Swords? Four of Swords. Five of Cups. Somebody here regrets that they act foolish. Okay, either you or other person. Definitely was somebody out there in between. Let's see here. What's the talk here is about? A new offer of love. A wish. Healing. And page of cups. An apology. And a new beginning. Ace of cups. Definitely here was a water sign in between. But somebody wants to come back here. And that other person might be a little cold. Might be a little confused. I don't really see how that can happen because the 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 energy of I lost my you know my trust in you. Yeah, definitely somebody here apologizing and wish to not go where they go and wish they not act foolish here. Somebody here with the five of cups and the fool, they do regret that they act like a immature person somebody here once was that moved was a lot of energy off 
let me see, let me think, let me take my time. Let's see, and this things, this separation could happen last summer and is a long-term connection separating here, okay? Somebody here longs for the past life here, past love here. There is some decisions here on this full moon and I feel here you've been thinking for quite a while with this hermit energy in Capricorn. But I feel here, if you are very much afraid to go forward, Spirit says, get that decision on you. Don't hold it back because you will be successful. Do not hold back. Don't get lost into your thoughts and into your fears because you might get what you want. If you really are persistent, you will get what you are longing for. And yes, yeah, sometimes we do mistakes. We are humans on this earth. We do care a soul here, a guide. But we do make mistakes. Everybody do make mistakes. And sometimes that's how it is. We learn and we try to not repeat them. Because if we are repeating them, the cycle will be on and on and on. Like this Wheel of Fortune. It will go back and forth, back and forth. So be very clear. If you are want to reunite with somebody, be very clear with that person. If somebody wants to reunite with you, be clear with them. And whatever confusion and worry, whatever conflict energy here, clear that. And be very sharp. Don't be afraid to be sharp with that person. If somebody treated you like an option or put you in clouds over there, okay? So, my lovely Capricorn, this is what I got for you, loves. Let's see here. Yeah. For some of you, definitely, it is a reunion here. Absolutely, my loves. Let's see here, one advice for you. Eight of Swords. Four of Wands. And the Devil. This is you, loves. This is you. And Spirit says, go ahead. If you really long for somebody, go ahead. Don't feel that you don't have enough, that you cannot make it. Because you might be surprised that that union could happen with this four of wands. And the devil, sometimes it's speaking us to extra stuff. Something more than necessary. But in this context, I feel here... Your persistence will be paid off. Good job. All right, loves. This is what I got. Happy weekend for all of you. And thank you for watching and being here and being supportive. Many blessings to all of you. Namaste.